Hey there dreamers, good morning and happy Thanksgiving. I'm getting ready for a turkey bowl, but I want to introduce you to this video. So we recorded the footage for this episode about three weeks ago, and I didn't even know if we'd really publish it, and then it hit us late last night. Mandy's like, hey, what do you want to bet? There are a lot of people who are watching our videos who are thinking about buying appliances through some Black Friday sale, which I think she's probably right. So we thought, okay, let's put this together real quick and let's get it out there. Maybe there's something that we learned in our research and in our visit to a pretty big appliance shop that might help you out. So let's go shopping. Yeah, both. I hope we take them out and she eats them. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Little bows are here. Thanks for letting us see her. She's Thanks so for saying cute. hi to her. She likes that. Hey, bye, bye. Ellie Mae. Bye. 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 We were on Instagram the other day and we found these really cool ranges. They're called Verona ranges. And then another one called Ilve. And they're really cool. They come in a ton of different colors. So we looked to see if there was anywhere in Utah that sold them, and wouldn't you know it, 20 minutes away in Bountiful, there is a store that sells them. So we're gonna run in with the kids because we're crazy like that. And we're gonna see what they look like. Dun, 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 dun. Durdens. Just kidding, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Dwerdens. 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 Duerdens, Duerdens. All right, let's go look at some. Some pretty ranges. Yeah. Oh, nice. Call it the Italian job here. Mm -hmm. oh. There's Ilve. Ooh. Look almost old fashioned. Mom, would you buy this one if there's just a penny? Yeah, I would. In a heartbeat. What do you think about it, boss? It's a pretty range. Oh, hi. Six burner. It's, yeah. The one that we previously looked at, I think, had a small one that could do a cookie. This is cool. And then a larger one. Probably be something like this. Yeah. So let's So this is Bertazzoni, which is also from Italy but significantly more affordable than Ilve. The turkey's burning, you burn the turkey! Right, so... But this you could still cook. This is the one we had looked at though, right? You could fit a cookie sheet, but... Oh gosh, I guess it is. We did look at one like that. Because we wanted double ovens, but we didn't want the stacked. Yeah. So the so idea... You can still cook yeah. cookies or something, but you could also cook a turkey. Without so heating up a hole. Exactly. Yeah. And then when you do a 48 inch, there's a lot of different configurations that you can do up here as well. Oh, that it's is nice so cool. nice. What do you say, boss? Will that work for you? Do you want to share or do you want another one on your own? They can share. You're sure? You're so welcome. You're so welcome. So a steam oven, huh? This is crazy. Very young. I've never heard of a steam oven. It's very cool. Yeah. Like, shows you what I know. Four grand for a tiny little thing that's made just for bacon, huh? Like four. They just come out. The other one looks like... Like spider. <laughs> and this oh, one that's just an extra piece. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, so this is not quite the same category as the one you're, you're looking at, obviously. It's different, yeah. But this one comes in a 48 inch also. And if I this remember guy. right, mm -hmm. so we have the double oven. That's pretty. This. It's seventy-one ninety-nine. So that's an opportunity if you felt like you wanted it's about to have another look four right. thousand yeah. cheaper. But a little, a little less expensive. Totally. It's very pretty. Model microwave because it still doesn't really in my opinion take the place of a full blown oven. But you can bake okay. stuff in it, right? Absolutely. And if you had you know, this is a great opportunity to buy something if you have no other option and you need a second oven. Right. But I tell you what we found in our home is, yeah, so now I'm baking at 350 degrees and I'm using it as an oven, but now I need my microwave to warm up the peas. 
And you can't. Now I've got to bake it at 350 degrees. You don't even think about that until you've owned them. Gotcha. So it has a great purpose. So we just got done talking about why we wouldn't want to do a stacked double oven because Mandy's short and uh, well, this, this right here can happen and singe. So anyway, he showed us this really awesome French door. Open, close. Look at that. That's the one that goes on top. And then you have a swing down below. That's pretty sweet. When you buy monogram products, I mean, if you buy a cooktop and a wall oven, you get a free dishwasher, a $12 dishwasher. You buy a refrigerator, you could have a hood and a dishwasher. So it's a very, very lucrative. Those are those package packages. bundles that yeah, you're talking about. Words. Now, I don't know what we're going to have when you're ready for yours, but I would yeah. suspect we'll keep that Find program me. going. Find me. So, yeah, I mean, these are really high, high Oh, you do? Should we find a restroom? No, this is not the same thing. Okay. French doors on the top so you don't run into that burning your self. Burning your <laughs> bosoms. And then they have just the regular on the bottom. Cool. That is kind of a cool idea. That is, uh, that's a good looking, so that's Viking. Like that. That's Viking. Viking's up there with wolf, mm -hmm. right? So this one's. That's really cool. I like that it's not a lot of. By the time you add a stove top in, you are just real comparable to that 48 inch. Yeah, it's, it's really not an issue of cost. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's really more function than what you want. I see what you mean by that, yeah. Right. right. But some people come say, I love that wow factor of 48 inch range. And that's... So pretty. Yeah, you can't argue with that point either. But this is very cool. I've never seen... This saves, a, saves some space, I feel like. <laughs> All right, can you settle something for us? How do you pronounce your store name? Durdens. Durdens. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I think that's that's the first thing I said, then I was being goofy. And... Pizza. The Bosch, the whole bottom of the tub, was covered in pepperoni pizza. But the dish is washed just as good, for sure. And so we, t and by the way, it didn't plug the filter up, which was I was surprised with. So it just like was sitting on the bottom? Right, and then I ran it again without anything in it, you know, and just tried to get it to flush through, and most of it flushed through okay. And I say that because we don't wash pepperoni pizzas. The <laughs> bottom sounded, sounded impressive and looked really impressive on TV. Yeah. But I don't know that you need to have a dishwasher with a hard food disposal. I just don't. Okay. We used to think you did. How did the other one do? The KitchenAid? It was the third for sure. The, the G and the Bosch were the best for sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm curious. So you can get this one in a panel front? Absolutely. Ready? I own this dishwasher, and I'll tell you it's the best dishwasher my wife and I have ever had. And I just feel like all the dishwashers I've had, I like I literally scrub all of my dishes before I stick them in the dishwasher. They're like clean going in. <laughs> What's the point of a dishwasher? And we find that we don't do that. The Bosch is an incredible dishwasher too. Okay. Lots of decisions to make, huh? Oh my gosh. Good thing we're getting a jump start on it. So this is this is a monogram 48 inch. Okay. Now this is again a, a thing that we've struggled with for years is monogram doesn't have the wow factor like Wolf. Okay. It doesn't have the wow factor like Viking. It doesn't even have the name like Bertazzoni. And Bertazzoni's nowhere in the quality but of this it product. Sounds. <laughs> but Bertazzoni you know sounds yeah. yeah, yeah. So just because it's got the Italian name on it and it says Bertazzoni, don't be fooled that it's it's not a wolf product or monogram product. Right. But this is an extremely high quality range. It is a 48 inch. This is one of the few that's true double convection ovens. Yeah. Both ovens are convection. This is dual okay. fuel. This is the only one in the whole industry that you can get a full size baker sheet in there. Really? A full size baker sheet. You can put that on any brand at any price, it won't fit. Oh. Ball bearing roller racks. Really high quality convection ovens for roller racks. Every one of these burners are 18,000 BTU burners that go down to 120 degrees. Oh, that's low. You can put a paper plate on there right. and stick a, a chocolate candy bar on there and it just barely melts the chocolate candy bar. Wow. Feel it. It's on. That's awesome. That's incredible. You know, by the branch, you have to go through with one set of turning them on or off, but they do it with one control. That's incredible. Okay, so I feel like my cousin said something about a star. That's a thermidor. Is that? Yeah. Okay, now what's the difference between like a star and a circle? They feel like the star has more square inches of pattern where it cooks more evenly. Oh. Now the star, if you took a thermidor and you tried to get that burner to go down to whatever temperature it was, okay? Mm -hmm. 
they can't do that. Right. So what they do is they turn the burner off, they turn it on. It's clicking on, clicking off, clicking on, clicking off, oh. because they can't get it that low. Right. Those so are brass burners. The only other one that has a brass burner is the twelve or fifteen thousand dollar Viking Seven Series. Brass burners don't change in size, no matter how hot they get or how cold they get. So do you yep. find that it's really? Does it really matter if you have the star or no. the star? It's pretty much. But every brand is going to have their niche. They're going to say something. They're going to. That's oh, their oh, self. They're saying they yeah. got yeah. something. Said that I'm... Like snow cone type. Yeah. Ice. We call this nugget ice. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. So a couple things that you need to do, you got to think about this real soon too, is because these really need a floor drain right underneath them, a very, very specific spot where you put a floor drain. Okay. Because these things are shuffling off water like crazy. Yeah. Because they're making it, and this okay, is you just hear a, that? No. This is just a bit. He said, we have to decide this soon, because they'll be doing the plumbing. Yes. And it's got to have a floor drain right I underneath it. I want it in my it. pantry. Okay. I don't want it in my main island, because it's in the main island, our kids will be in it. All day long. Pantry, we bought a little countertop one. one that oh creates bullet ice, the little and bullet. Is a child. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have okay his cousin did one that was on the top of a countertop. Is that yep. a thing? And it was more like the snow cone type. Yeah, there's there's some generic ones that are made out there, you know, you just add water to them and things like that, but there's I don't know. Make... The chemical's kind of expensive. Yeah. And so you need to make sure if you're buying one of these, this is just not something you walk away from and not take care of it. Yep. Two, the other thing is when I turn these on, I mean, it's on now, but it's not cycled, they're noisy. I don't care what anybody says, they're noisy. I don't care how much money you spend. So in a pantry is ideal for one of these, for okay. sure. Okay, okay, cool. Huh. And these are, without a pump, you're around 3100 3200 bucks. something okay. like that for the nugget eyes. Do you want a Morris? <laughs> so it's kind of a luxury, I feel like, in your parents. It's it kind of a luxury item. Yeah, oh, no. for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but we sell a lot of them. But it's important to, to do the planning now. Well, because we bought we bought a countertop machine. Like nieces and nephews just. <laughs> it's gonna be gross. <laughs> he thinks it's gonna get cleaned every six or seven months. Well, it'll be like every. The problem is, two. if you don't clean it, then it will not last. It will physically. Out. You guys got the beds vibrating it's over vibrating. here. Vibrating, I don't know why it's vibrating. Vibrating, is that what you said? Yeah. By breaking. By breaking. <laughs> Not vibrating. Alright, is this the remote to it? Yeah. I don't know what you guys are doing over here. I, I accidentally stepped on the remote and pushed it. Got it. Alright, hey, mom's waiting. We're all done. Around. Let's go. Over there, okay? Okay. Go around over there. Okay. okay. Oh, no, no, no. What? What are you doing? Just stand over there and look at the <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, here they come. Alright, let's head outside. Alright. Oh, you guys got hooked up with candy. <laughs> Daddy, I guess what? Dad, you should make a video of me with my pumped up tooth. Who is that? What's the other kind? I've. 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 What's it called? Alpha. Chart. Ilve. Ilve? Yeah. Thanks for appliance shopping with us guys. If you have any of the appliances that we listed or any other appliances, we wanna hear your stories in the comment sections below. Good, bad, the ugly, everything. This feels like such a huge decision. We don't wanna get any of them wrong. So please let us know your experience with appliances and the do's and don'ts and what we might consider that we haven't yet considered. I gotta hand it to Durden's. It was a fantastic place and even more fantastic was our sales rep who was actually the manager there. I have never had someone who cared less about the sell and more about the customer. We will most definitely be doing business with them and uh, I appreciate the great way that he took care of us and educated us for like well over an hour on all of these different appliances and it was just completely selfless and uh, it was awesome to experience. We hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Eat lots and lots of turkey. Get that trip to Fincoma in the one day of the year where it's totally acceptable. And until next time, keep dreaming.